Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and today I'm gonna show you the most convenient way how you can apply tints and shades using the grain texture effect in Adobe Illustrator. And it's also the most flexible approach because you can draw anything on this layer, any object and the texture will apply automatically. You don't need to do anything. Adobe Illustrator will do everything for you. So let's start with a simple solid color like I have here. And I also have two additional layers. One is for shades and one is for tints. So copy your object with Ctrl C, Ctrl F and place it on the shades layer. Apply a gradient. If you can find a gradient, go to the Windows Gradient or Ctrl F9, Command F9. With your gradient tool, Ctrl G. Arrange your gradient according to the light source. I assume that my light source is the top left, so the darkest color should be on the bottom right. Make a duplicate of this object with Ctrl C, Ctrl F and paste this duplicate on your third layer with your tints and hide it clicking on this able icon because we don't need it at the moment so select your layer make sure that you selected a layer you need to see an outline around this bullet on your layers panel and go to the effect texture and gray here you have a couple of sliders and also one drop down. So first slider controls the intensity of your texture effect and one controls the contrast between two regions, white and black. And from the drop down menu we need to set from regular change it to steepled and click OK. So once you apply the texture, navigate to the transparency and change the blending mode from normal to color born or multiply. Let me show you the color born effect and then I'm going to show you a multiply effect. Of course both of these blending modes requires the tweaking of opacity. So head on to opacity and change it to 40%. Click OK. So, let's go to the outings, toggle the visibility, select the layer, not an object, but the layer. You need to see this outline around the bullet and go over the effect and click to the apply grain. So, you applied grain again. Now, select your object, go to the gradient panel and select the black gradient stop by clicking it once with the left mouse button key. Then head on to Opacity from this drop down, set it to 0, click OK. As you can see, we already have seen some white on the position of top left of our heart. Now select the whole tins layer by clicking on this bullet, not an object, but the layer and head on to the opacity and change the blending mode from normal to overlay and tweak with the transparency value. I'm gonna set it 30%. You can always change and rearrange your grain texture. All you need to do is head on to appearance panel, find your grain texture effect, click it to open the dialog box again and here I need to increase the intensity in this case to around 55 and now apply OK and this leads to very nice result. So guys, this is how you can create a very flexible tints and shades via the texture grain effect in Adobe Illustrator and last word guys, last tip texture grain effect 
is a Photoshop raster effect. So when you create an artbox using the shading and tints method, think about the size of your object in advance and also think about resolution. And if you want to follow the written tutorial step by step, go to the link in the description and read the medium article on how to create a grain texture in Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. So, thank you for watching, have a great day.